stay to the end of the video where you can see how to pre-fill your delivery pipe and essentially prime it so it's much easier when you take the pipe up the hill. Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel, no electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. So I install a bunch of these and it takes me forever to prime the system. So basically water that fills up this pressure tank has to have back pressure down on it to keep the pump going. And that back pressure is just the delivery pipe going up a hill and the water is pushing back down by gravity on this tank. So if you don't have that back pressure, the water just squirts out and the pump shuts off. So in order to prime the ram pump, you have to put your delivery pipe up the hill and sit here and press the waste valve until enough water goes up that pipe and pushes back down on the pump. So a subscriber and YouTube channel, Workbench Z, suggested something that will save a lot of time. And that is bring your delivery pipe down to the pump and let gravity feed from your source, fill that delivery pipe up to match the source, and then you haul your pipe up the hill and it's already full of water. There's no sitting here for 10, 15 minutes pushing this valve to get enough water in this pipe. So today, let's demonstrate all of this and it will hopefully help you on your initial install. Now, after you've installed the pump once and your delivery pipe is installed where it's gonna be, this may not help as much, but for your initial install, maybe a very helpful thing to do. So here is our half inch ram pump. The drive pipe is 20 foot long and goes up a hill about five foot. And let's just say that my garden hose delivery is gonna go 100 foot up the hill here, whatever height that goes up to. I've got my source, it's full of water. And so whenever I open this, it's gonna fill the drive pipe. It's gonna snap the waste valve closed, just like that. Water is now bypassing the pump and filling the delivery pipe all around here, coiling around until it matches the source up here. So we should be able to walk up here and in just a minute, it will start coming out of here because this point is lower than right here. Now I've got a float valve, so this source will stay uh, pretty well full as the water is being used down here in the pump. We'll give that a second and let the water fill this pipe all the way up to this point. Okay, I actually pulled the garden hose all the way down here to the bottom so it would uh, go ahead and pull that water out all the way. So now that this whole garden hose is full of water, we can take it up the hill and this will already be primed. The hose is right up here next to the shadow of this tree. So hopefully that's enough lift to get enough back pressure on the pump here. That worked fine. The problem I was having was there's not enough hill to keep pressure back on the pump because we've got about five foot of drop and we're only lifting about 10 feet up from there. So here is the current output with the delivery pipe nozzled way down. So you can see here, that's a pretty good flow for that little pump. It was very helpful to have the pipe mostly full already. I didn't quite have it all the way full. And some of that is due to there being a half pound spring in the pump. So let me show you what I'm talking about there. The inline valve here has a spring that is keeping it closed. And so this right here has to overcome that spring in order to fill the pressure tank. And whenever I had the water just coming straight through the pipe, it was perhaps not pushing that spring open all the way to totally fill that delivery pipe. But as you can see, my delivery pipe is just cracked open. As soon as I open this all the way, the pump's gonna stop. And the reason for that is this is introducing a little bit of back pressure back on the pump. So we can get that going again here. We have to fine tune this to find the right spot. There we go. So that's open just slightly and that should keep the, uh, the artificial back pressure there.
Anyway, it's touchy. Here's another very cool idea I've never thought about. You can actually nozzle down the delivery so close to being off that you can have water pouring through here and the back pressure is still maintained in the pump. So that is probably an even easier way to get this done. So basically the pump is pushing water through the hose and it's coming out here pretty good at the end, right at the pump. So as soon as I open up this valve here, that should gush out a little bit and the whole thing will stop. So let's give it a try. Ready? <laughs> yep, there we go. Pretty cool. So there are definitely ways of getting this thing full. And now if I were to stop this, the pipe is totally full and can be hauled up the hill and not have to worry about all the different times I pushed that earlier. The smallest pump that I have for sale is the half inch and it's going to have the most problem with this concept of pre-filling the delivery pipe. So the three quarter up to inch and a quarter will have more water and should open up that spring a lot easier. So it would work better on the bigger pumps. But I just wanted to uh, share that little tip that my subscriber Workbench Z had suggested and it may help you in your initial install. Especially if you are going a long distance horizontal before you start climbing, it will be very helpful to just go ahead and pre-fill the delivery pipe from the bottom instead of having to push that valve over and over again to get it going. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. I do have these pumps for sale at landhouse.com. Link in the description down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.